Yo, this cat Jay-Z has officially lost his mind. This cat came out with a song dissing Jesus Christ. I'm sure some of y'all heard it, you already know about it, but man, for those of y'all that have not heard about it, it's a song called Empire State of Mind. And on the video, three minutes and five seconds into the video, this cat, or into the song, this cat flat out calls out Jesus Christ. He says straight up that Jesus Christ can't save you. And that life won't begin until the church ends. This is Jay-Z. This is one of, the, one of the biggest, most influential entertainers alive right now. His number one hit records have surpassed Elvis Presley. This dude is big. And this dude just came out and publicly put Jesus Christ on blast. Publicly just dissed Jesus Christ. And I'm like, yo, man, when Kanye West flipped out at the VMAs, you know what I'm saying, and, and stole the glory from Taylor Swift, Jay-Z didn't even diss Kanye West. But yo, he gonna diss Jesus and steal Jesus' glory? Steal his rightful glory and honor that's his? Man, how, how Jay-Z said, yo, you know, Jesus Christ, you know, um, probably shouldn't turn the water into one. If he put him out on that, I'm like, okay, well, I don't agree, but, yeah. But you diss the one thing Christ came to do was to save me. You gonna take that from him? You gonna rob him of the glory of being savior? I mean, Jesus Christ came and said, look, he says, there's no other way to the Father except through me. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ talking. No one can come to the Father, meaning heaven, unless they pass through me. Jesus Christ made salvation exclusively through him, by him, alone. The Bible says in Acts that there's no other name given to men by which they must be saved. Yet, Jay-Z says, he can't save you. I'm like, dude, Jay-Z, who is you? Like, since when are you commenting on theology? I mean, you talk about, you know, pimping. You, you talk about being a hustler, even though you're a millionaire. Yo, you, you, you talk about all this other stuff. Why in the world you open your mouth up and talk about Jesus Christ and theology and about who can and can't save you? This song, Dissing Jesus Christ, is number one on three different American billboard charts. It's number two on, on two different UK charts. I'm like, yo, what's really going on, man? Yo, he dissing Jesus Christ. It's like, yo, Christians, do we even care? Yo, I'm saying even the hypocrite Christian, even if you're a Christian out there, you're not even living it, you know what I'm saying? You just go to church every now and then on Easter. Look, yo, even you got to be hot about this. Yo, he calling out Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who was crucified, nailed in his hands and feet. Medical doctors say that he was beat so bad and he lost so much blood, he went into hypovolemic shock. That means his body was trying to pump blood to circulate, his, to sustain his body that was not there because he was losing so much of it. He could he almost collapsed and bled to death before he even got to the cross. He's impaled on a Roman cross, almost naked. The whole city's betray him. His best friends disown him and he's left to die. And why is he doing it? For the sins of the world. To save the world. John 3, 16, straight up and down. Christ gave his life to save men from the penalty of sin. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 53 that he was beaten beyond recognition. That, that he would take the stripes of our punishment that, that, and, that, and those stripes would bring us healing, spiritual healing from our sin. You know, the Bible says in Isaiah 53 that by the wounds of the Messiah we shall be healed. Christ was wounded for transgressions, the Bible says. Yep, Jay-Z says, you know what, no, 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 he wasn't. No, no, don't, don't listen to that. He can't save you. Jesus Christ is pretty much getting, getting raped in the, uh, in this song, getting, getting take, uh, his glory taken from him, his purpose taken from him. When Jesus Christ Himself said that I have come to save men from their sins, but Jay Z obviously is saying that Jesus Christ can't save you, and the church that Christ bought with His blood to set up in His name by which He's the head. Jay Z says that life won't begin until the church ends. You know, has that cat got so big and so rich that now he can just diss Jesus Christ and, and no one even says nothing? Well, where's Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson? You know, I'm waiting for them to come out somewhere, like a paper, or on a blog, on their Facebook, or MySpace, or somebody do something. What's up with all these cats got all this influence and, and they want to, you know, they, they want to work for 106 in Park, you know, to get in with the with the celebrities. They, they want to work on TV to, so they can minister to the celebrities. They want to work on a movie set to minister to the celebrities. Well, who is working around Jay-Z that is speaking to him, calling this brother out, saying, look, money, you wrong. And matter of fact, according to the scripture, you anti-Christ right about now for what you're doing, dog. Alicia Keys on the song. 
You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's up, Alicia? What? What? Where? Where are you at? Like, what? Cash, wake up, man. Where the real Christians at? You know what I'm saying? Man, I, I was in my car driving home, and I, I, I flick on the Young People's News, you know what I'm saying, 105.9. I turn on the Young People's News to see what it's talking about, and the first thing that come on is Jay-Z in Park State of Mind. It was right at the part where it said, Jesus Christ can't save you. Man, I almost crashed my car, man. I was so hot, man. I'm like, he's just, it's everywhere. It's on 106 in Park. The other news station for the, the, the young world. That means young people across America, across the country, voted in a song that's denying Christ his salvation, right, privilege, glory, honor. As Lord and Savior, Jay-Z is flat out ripping that. And, and young folks have voted this on 106 in part. I'm like, what is good? 105.9, yo, I know Big Boy interviewed him, you know what I'm saying? And, and didn't bring nothing up about, hey, Jay-Z, you dissed Jesus Christ. I mean, Cass is, Cass is more concerned about, is he talking about T-Pain on his song about auto-tune, or is he talking about somebody else? They're more concerned about that than, yo, this cat flat out took a shot at Jesus Christ. Yo, this cat did not even diss President Bush for the war in Iraq. But he went to diss Jesus Christ? Tell him, folks, he can't save you? According to Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? Jigga. We need to shut the church down. According to Jay-Z, life can't begin until the church ends. So, you know, all these big time churches, young, go ahead and shut down, close it down, because life can't begin until the church ends. That, that's what Jay-Z is saying. And I'm like, all these big time pastors, these big names, these huge congregations, yo, where is your statement about this? Somebody take this video to them. Somebody please take this video, pastor, and tell him, yo, pastor, you got all this influence. Can you please? address Jay-Z. Can you get on your YouTube, get on your blog, and say something about, you know what I'm saying, young people, draw the line right here, you know what I'm saying, you should have been through the line, but this ought to be enough for you to draw the line. Yo, this is where Jay-Z's performed the song. Yo, you can get this on Wikipedia, where Jay-Z's performed a song dissing Jesus flat out in the church. The song was performed at Jay-Z's Answer the Call benefit concert in Madison Square Garden. So he's having a benefit concert in Madison Square Garden and let everybody know, hey, I'm going to sing a song about New York and this is a song. I'm going to give you some spiritual theological advice. By the way, Jesus Christ can't save you and we need to shut the church down. Just, that's Jay-Z. He's singing the song letting us know that. Yo, check this out. This song became an anthem for the New York Yankees during their championship run in 2009. Yo, I'm like, what? The New York Yankee, Yankees, this became the anthem song, This and Jesus Christ. I know what's talking about New York. I know, I know all y'all Jay-Z fans is going to be like, man, he, he, he didn't mean that. Yeah, man, man, it's, it, it's really, he's really, what he's really trying to say. You know what I'm saying? He should never have put Jesus and can't save in the same sentence. I don't care what he's trying to say. This dude ought to have so much respect for Jesus Christ that he would even put that in the same sentence. But he did it. And all y'all gonna defend him, and you gonna get his back, but you ain't getting Jesus Christ back. Jay-Z, it has not, and will not, die for the scum of the earth, for the sins of the world. He gonna give you some money, let alone die for your sins. He gonna take back the glory of the one that did? So parents out there, parents watching this, you know, your kids listen to Jay-Z, kids got Jay-Z album and everything like that, you know, and, and hey, it's... Don't be surprised if they stop going to church and, and they don't believe that Jesus can save you. This cat threw up the Antichrist sign like, what? He's going to deny Jesus Christ as a Messiah. According to 1 John, he says, man, that's the spirit of the Antichrist. I'm not saying Jay-Z is the Antichrist, but the Bible says the Antichrist spirit is already at work right now today. And I can see that work. And this dude probably is just talking on the side of his neck. And if you ask him, like, Jay-Z, man, why you, uh, you know what I'm saying? Why you put Christ on blast? He'd probably be like, uh, well... You know, what I meant about with the church, with the egg. Who can, Dude, you know what I'm saying? It said, never come out your mouth, man. It said, you, you don't step. You don't went too far, dog. You And one day, dude, you gonna stand before Jesus Christ. One day, man. What you gonna say, dude? Use your influence to lead all these people astray? And we so drunk on superstar status that we gonna let this thing slide. We just be like, it's cool. Ain't pulling nobody to the side and letting people know, Yo, I'm sick of it, man. All these radio stations in Los Angeles playing it to death. And I know you got to play because, you know, you got to make your money. You got to be popular and stuff like that, man. But you're being popular with men, you're losing popularity with God. I'm done, dude. Pastor Justin Cox, P4CM. I'm, I don't know what else to say, dude. I'm, I'm thrilled today. Thrilled. This cat, Jay-Z, is out there wilding out, man. I'm, I'm gone, dude. Peace.